All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the altar Batal coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. It seems that we must seek out this Ambrosius if we are... Who are you? Uh, no, n never mind, it is of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be. Is that all? Still, I expect I'll find a use for them. Here, take your... Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystal... By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult, we've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. It is possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collect- Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locating them. I can tell- The Arisen comes. Is this meeting also by the dragon's design? It is for ye to determine what that bond constitutes, be it a hapless fate or a curious boon. The Godswain. Forgive me, but I've ne'er heard of such a thing. However, some years past, a sorcerer of Batal came to me seeking knowledge of the dragon, just as ye have. Faces, sir, I believed he called himself. It appeared his intent was to alter the will of the world through mortal means. Perhaps there is some connection. I knew you would come. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if it is within my power to know them. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak. Though I shall tell you aught I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth. A warmth akin to your own arisen. To that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea. In a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange. For I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. T'would seem a path will be open to you in time allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth, so like your own. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Har Village, if you would learn from him. To the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting up. I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I am quite sure I mentioned it. But I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that, as he himself would have it, he was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, who it sounds unfortunate, but if you are, I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak of... Come see me again, if it pleases you. <laughs> I've...
Ivan's friend. I'd never seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. It was magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these before I head back in there, I fear, at any rate. I'd best re Yon structure yet lies on the water. Just. Is rather high. It might be beyond our reach. Allow me, master. It is within my reach. Might I be of assistance? We are under attack! That was well thought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each- This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. I will finish this! We have yet to explore all the corners of this place. It would be a shame if it were overlooked. Indeed. Let us know if we could be of assistance. Fall back, and I will heal you with my magic. Wait a moment. I'd fain lead the way, if you would be so kind as to follow me. 
We're in your hands, sir. Much obliged. Aught has changed since we last came. I hope this does not bode ill. What could be the cause? This demands further investigation. We cannot break it from this side. Really? Now? It is in caverns such as these that monsters thrive. Tread carefully. One never can be too cautious. Understood. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. Another comes seeking to inter me. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not. What time and again have you sent unto me your minions? Yet repel them I have. Why do you not draw your blade? <laughs> this battle shall be o'er before it has even begun. You seek not my death. Hmm. Then you are not of the Watching One. I am Rothas, founder of the Kingdom of Vermund. And you appear to be a reason. Tell me your reason for coming here. God's way. Hmm. Speak you of those trinkets conjured by the wizards of Batal. Even from these depths, I have beheld the Batali scuttling about, gathering their fragments. This baleful, maddening act to transmute the fractured souls of Arisen into such frivolous baubles. Aye, that which you seek is a soul much like your own. Yet rarely will you find one intact, for splinters are all the remain of those pitiful arisen who were bade come here by the Watching One to end me. The flesh may rot, the soul fragment. Yet power, power endures, and would seem the Batali seek to augment this power through their perverted arts. Though to what nefarious end, I know not. Yet tis folly, the frolicking of children. Such a trinket could ne'er hope to fell the dragon, let alone the Watching One. I know little of your intent, but I sense in you a powerful will, a will that urges you towards fulfillment of some great feat. I shall grant you this blade. It too is the soul of an arisen, mine own, in fact, refined in purest dragon blood, alas. The ages have taken their toll. Tis as withered as mine own flesh. Yet, mayhap, the Batali's profane magics would be capable of drawing forth its late potency. If that is what you seek, Arisen, then go on to their stronghold. I believe tis there you shall find the means to achieve it.
Might not one of the bandits in Vernworth's jail know of the methods employed by thieves and their ilk? Pray, allow me to show you the way. You have my support. 